Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Kent. The channel is EOS San Diego, and I talk about the EOS blockchain every single night. Um, hopefully I won't miss any nights. If I do miss a night, it'll probably be for something that I didn't foresee because I try to make a video every single night simply because I think that I don't want to let a night go by without making a video because I think it's that important. Um, but anyway, I want to talk a little bit tonight about uh, this gentleman that I met this afternoon uh, at the gymnasium, at the gym that I go to. And I was in the steam room and we were talking a little bit and uh, he was an elderly, elderly, elderly gentleman. I think he was in his uh, mid eighties, maybe late eighties, but anyway, he's doing really well. But he was talking to me about um, the area where we live, which is Southern California, San Diego. And uh, of course he's lived here for a long time, a lot longer than I have. And he was talking to me about how this used to be all farmland <clears throat> and over the years have developed and how these people that originally owned this land, these farms that were, you know, either farms that they raised cattle or raised crops, orange groves or avocado groves, whatever that is, was whatever they raised, that they eventually sold out and then people bought houses or started building houses, housing developments and so on and so forth. But how much money these people made that owned these farms, these farmers who literally were just farmers that were trying to raise a crop or raise a uh, livestock, and they sold out for, you know, massive amounts of money when the development started a number of years ago. You know, 75, 80 years ago, when things were still pretty open in Southern, in Southern California. Not a lot of development now. There's tons of development, but anything you purchase is super expensive. But back then, there, it wasn't expensive because it was just open land. Well, that's kind of the way the blockchain is right now, and that's kind of the way EOS is right now. EOS is kind of like open territory, you know, so if you want to invest, this is a good time to develop, develop and invest because the future will be probably a lot like Southern California real estate. As it starts to develop, as it becomes more popular, as people start to realize the value, then the prices will go up. But right now, we're so new into this. I think there's uh, there's just a few, uh, slightly over 20 dApps right now running on dApp radar. So. We're still pretty young in, in the blockchain, pretty young in the EOS. So there's a lot of opportunities, just like there was opportunities 75 years ago in Southern California to purchase property. So, given that, I want to talk about um, a, new, uh, 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 a new exchange that opened up today. DeltaDex.io, DeltaDex.io, which is a decentralized exchange that's running on EOS. This, this is the third. There's NewDex.io. There's DexEOS.io, and now there's DeltaDex.io. These are ways of giving projects on um, EOS a way to be traded. So this gives value to the EOS blockchain, and this gives value to EOS, and there'll be more. There's another exchange coming up next week uh, that I know about that they haven't announced yet, so I'm not going to announce the exchange, but there's another exchange, so there'll be five decentralized exchanges running on EOS. Actually, there's uh, four, four decentralized e exchanges run on EOS. There'll be a lot more in the future. This is, decentralized exchanges are the way of the future. They will be the way people trade crypto in the future, on the blockchain, uh, not with the, uh, all, the, all the, you know, giving out all your information. It'll be traded on a blockchain, easy to do, just open a Scatter account, uh, log in with Scatter, and then you can start trading. So, so it's super easy to do. Like I said, I saw a new one today, and I think there'll be another one to come up next week. So these decentralized exchanges are really starting to grow on EOS because EOS has scalability. The ability to trade and the ability to, to do this without giving over a lot of personal information and to do it very easily. And if you know what you're doing, you know you can get a lot of liquidity out of, out of, out of these decentralized exchanges. So a new decentralized exchange coming on. There'll be more in the future. This is something that's really exciting. And this is why EOS has so much value. Because this is a way not only to build, but to trade and have exchanges on the, all on the same platform. This is something that does everything. EOS does everything. So anyway, good time to get involved there. I appreciate you watching. Plus, the price is still going up. So and I can see the, foresee the price continuing to go up. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.